What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, FB Aftermath. Man, let me tell y'all, y'all saw the title, so y'all already know what the deal is, what the vibes is, where we going in these next 10 weeks. This is serious. As long as I stay healthy, this is, this is all I'm doing right now. Or I, I, well, I'm doing something else, but this is all I'm doing right now. And I've already signed up for my first powerlifting meet. I am, however, on the wait list, but I believe uh, I was told that, you know, it, it, it's slight that I won't be able to um, get into the meet. But right now, we are on grind mode. My workouts are pretty boring. This is honestly one of the reasons why I didn't want to do powerlifting because the workouts are boring, bro. Like they're hard, but they're like boring. And it's just like, I like to do a lot of things when I work out. I like to, you know, go bench or do explosive work or, you know, train. I, I, you know, I'm an athlete. It's hard to give up that athletics type of training when you've been an athlete majority of your life, pretty damn much, you feel me? So I'm just trying to process myself into doing less, if you would say. So I'm just gonna come here, do my lift, and go play video games and edit videos the rest of the day. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel. Also, all the products that you will see today, knee sleeves, belt, wrist wraps, all that, bulletin in the iron, Use code AFTERMATH, 10% off. You already know what it is. Rocking the Alpha Lead as well. AFTERMATH, 10% off. Let's go ahead and get it. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Bro, rest days? Three rest days out of the week? Uh, I don't know if I can do that, bro to not do anything for three days is absolutely crazy. And I know how crucial it is to not do anything for powerlifting because everything, you know, like we have our five by fives for, um, for, for bench and squat. So it's just like, this, these days are taxing and it's gonna take a lot out of me. So I'm gonna need these rest days, but I don't know, we gotta find a new hobby. <sighs> Maybe I'm gonna start filming people too, again. <laughs> uh. Also, uh, I gotta stay loose, with, especially with the chest. Cause remember when I was doing the small off junior, bro, my chest got so tight off that program that I ended up hurting myself. Stay tuned for the rest of the video cause I'll take you guys home with me. Yeah, I'm gonna take you home with me. And I'll show you what I'll be eating throughout the day. This morning I had steak. Um, for a snack before my workout, and then I'll finish the rest of the steaks and stuff. Pretty much it's just a lot of red meat, eggs, and then, you know. No, nah, I don't, no, no chicken right now. Turkey bacon, so I'll, Because you don't like it, or? Uh, I'm just not in my, I'm not in the chicken mood right now, so no chicken right now. Um, I'm in a, like, I have my breakfast, turkey, turkey bacon, eggs, um, after my workout. I have my steak, or like half the steak before my workout, and that's it. And then after the workout, I have breakfast, and then it continues on for the rest of the day, whatever meals. I can't use that little itty bitty thing. Ah! Just gotta mentally prepare myself for today. I think I believe I have four, 420, around like 420, 425, something like that. From five sets of five. 80% 80 of my max for five sets of five. And uh, that sounds absolutely ridiculous. That sounds ridiculous now that I'm like really like saying it out loud. Like 80% for five sets of five, like what? The math is not mathing right now, but we, we about to figure it out. to actually using the weights that we're gonna be, will be provided for me. And, he, and from now on, deadlifts, unless I'm feeling, you know, deadlifts are strictly straight bar now. So take like 50 pounds off of my max <laughs> on a deadlift bar and there you go. Well, I'll say 30. I think I can still hit like 750 um, confidently. Hey, 
Like, why she always look worried? She'd be like, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> oh, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Yeah, I'm reckless. Yeah, I'm flexing. Yeah, I'm flexing. Hey, 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 these is fire, right? These is fire, right? Hey, yo, I'm so mad. I'm caught up on One Piece. After a year of watching, I literally don't have anything to watch from One Piece anymore. It's a sad day. Because I expected a lot more with the Kaido and like Yamato, like, you know, all of that, man. Five sets of what? Five sets of five? Hey, I think I'm, I think I'm counting that set that I just did. Um, that, that counts as one of the five. Yeah. How much you think this is? <laughs> <laughs> I think whatever I can do with the regular plates, I think I need to take like 30 pounds off. Not that 25. So let me let me let me explain something to you guys real quick. I am not a repetition person. Uh, I am not like let's say you know my max my max bench is 520. Let's say in order to bench 520, it says you know I can do like 550 for seven. I can't do 550 for seven. Like I can't. I, no, you know. And it's like 225 for like, you know, repetitions. It's such a light weight that I can like, you know, really go, for, you know, 30 reps with 225. But once I get past 225, maybe 315 for 20. But when we in the four, when we in the 400s, it's a whole nother ball game. It's like, all right, you know, like, like I'm a very one rep maxer type of lifter. I'm not like the repetition in between, you know, type of lifter, so. That, that's, I'm just letting you guys know. I'm like really good for that one, you feel me? That's why I'm like super excited for like this meet cause like it's gonna be a crowd of people. You're the only one lifting, everybody's eyes on you. I've never really had that. So it's just like to really have that and to be you know able to compete, I feel like it'll be cool and it'll kind of like push my limits for what I can really hit. Because you know what? This first meet, this first meet, if you guys didn't know, like I'm talking to a coach right now, but we haven't started coaching yet. Because it's too soon to the meet. He said it's too soon for the, to the meet for him to really understand my body and how I, he said it needs to be at least like 10 to 12 weeks out, something like that, or 10 to uh, 15. Um, so, this is a self-made programming right now. Um, and it's just it's like my studying that I've really been into lately. But right now, um, I'm not thinking because the rep, one rep max calculator that I was using in my, for my programming and stuff, I gave it like my all, all out one rep max, not my pause one rep max. My pause one rep max is probably 485 right now. I can only get sets of four, so I might just do an extra, extra set. One thing I hate, I don't have no type arch, bro. I got long arms, 
Like, I got pretty long arms. And I ain't got no type arch. It's like, yeah, I can widen my grip, but I get so much shoulder pain. And I probably, I'm pretty sure when I start coaching, he's gonna tell me to widen my grip. Also, I need to take in mind, and please don't take this as excuses. These aren't excuses. These are things I'm trying to learn and trying to tell myself that I, you know, need to get a grasp of, you know, if I'm transitioning into this type of, of lifting. You know, this is not come in here, do whatever. You know, my rest time right now has been like two minutes in between each set. It probably should be like five. I should probably sit down in between. I've been walking around, doing all whatever, talking, blah, blah, blah. And these are things I can't do. It's all about conserving energy for the set. I ain't say nothing. I'm gonna get you some new shoes. Can we not talk about them? These are my crusties. Can we not talk about them? These are my crusties. <laughs> I am excited. I'm excited to try. Oh, is, is the bar long enough? I was about to say, I'm excited to try low bar now. Since, because with low bar, I, I don't know if I'll be able to, but I need to be able to grip out here, right? I can't, I can't do low bar and grip inside because I have to be able to, like right here, this is like, I can't be right here and do low bar. I have to be more out here. Brian missed it all, but I got it. So I'll be able to grab out here now. If you know who this is, go ahead and grab it. You know who this is. Go ahead and grab it. Interrupting my fucking workout. I should have took like a week off of lifting to kind of like reset <laughs> before I started this. So I use my flats. I'm gonna try to see how it feels with my elevated shoes. myself to be to be able to run through this exercise now nah. I should probably take everything down like 50 50 pounds hey hey from now on this will be going up by That's a fucking PR. Fuck, I hate squats. I don't even know if I'm like setting this up properly. Oh, my headphones. Ah, 
got enough energy to do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here to the house. I'll show you guys what the rest of my day looks like. We'll be eating, playing video games, editing this video as I'm speaking to you right now. Uh, and yeah, so stay tuned. Hit that like button, subscribe. Let's go ahead, head out, head to the house. I'll show you my first meal. Oh, that's the grease. The grease. But it's all me. The bacon is yours. The turkey is not. Mm. Well, these bacons is ugh. How they come out like that? Like what? Why does the bacon feel like the bacon you get in the packages that's already cooked and you heat in the microwave? Uh -huh. Do you want me to add more? One, two, three, Just four. four. Five. Five. Well, babe said she was cooking breakfast, so she's making the breakfast right now. We got some bacon and eggs. I'm keeping calories around. Main, my maintenance calories is like 35, 3,500. So that's pretty much what we're um, aiming for. Three. High calorie for. Four. Yeah. High calorie breakfast, and then usually the rest of the day is kind of chill. Like I said, I had half of one of my steaks that I cooked last night, um, earlier, right before the workout. I don't like to have too much before I work out. So, had that. Um, now we're actually about to have breakfast, and then we'll continue on to the next meal. I'm probably going to, most likely, I think the toast is burning, baby. Ah! <laughs> uh, most likely is be in my room, doing some research or editing this video throughout the day um so you'll be seeing me do this as i'm doing this and yeah more yeah i got you a pepper you guys i got a lot of pepper a lot of pep also some toast with some jam some jelly belly yeah because you used all the sausage yesterday yeah yeah. Yeah. So I had sausage. I'm using up all my sausage, all the high calorie meats, and switching over to turkey, and switching over to turkey after this bacon is gone. Baby. Yeah. Where you put the jam? You left it in your room, didn't you? No. It's right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Up. It was a. Uh, was a. You don't even use that one. I don't. The strawberry just hit different. The strawberry like. Mm. You get that good. You know what I'm talking about that. <laughs> Spread that thing. Alphamate, you already know. Use code Aftermath. Oh, let them see it. <laughs> As I was saying, because I thought I was recording, I was, what y'all hearing right now is literally what I just said like a moment ago, but I wasn't recording at all, so now I'm talking more than what I was recording because I'm explaining that I recorded it all and now so you know here we go I feel like I'm looking pretty natty right now and I ain't liking it you know what I'm saying like here let me just rest <laughs> you got a belly out. but see y'all see this belly right but now if I correct my posture and pull my pelvis back in and this is not me, this is, my, my abs are still soft right now. And if I really pull my pelvis back in, I'm not big, but I got that. So my belly be hanging out. But this is my relax, this is my real relax right here. So, yeah. Scoot time. What, you wanna open it? Go ahead, open it. No, I wanna eat. All right, so here's breakfast. How many eggs you got, babe? You got four eggs, five strips of bacon, and two slices of sourdough. So, I think we're about in the 700 calories? Probably. Probably around 700 calories. Could possibly be higher. Could possibly be higher. We're not at 1,000 for sure. No, no, not 1,000. Probably right. now, like 850? Maybe like, yeah, seven to eight. I don't even say 850. I'll say seven to 800 calories. Let's, let's do a guess in it. Right? Right, 90 plus 280. 770. I said 850. 850. Plus the jam. Plus the jam. 850. Yeah. 850. Okay. I was saying right. Okay. My plate. Her plate. <laughs> I got my turkey bacon at the day. Comment down below if y'all want video of me eating like my girlfriend for a day. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be starving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> 
So we got the room set up slightly. You know, you seen this in my last house. Got our boards, figures up there. It lights up too, got some green. Uh, this this area is not set up yet. Pikachu is back there in the PS5. Um, computer set up. The computer's kind of like over there. I need to clean it because there's hella dust because I spoke, like, you see my hookah right here? And there's hella dust getting in there. So I really need to clean it. But all this is going to be gone. We get a new desk. Got to switch the desk out. Uh, this was like a temporary desk when we were living with my dad. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's all gone. And we're catching up on Bauer, though. I'm kind of behind. So this is uh, what we're doing right now. Um, my days are pretty freaking boring. I'm literally at this desk for like seven hours. So I don't really know what to tell you guys. Cause I sit here, I edit my videos, stream twitch.tv slash FB Aftermath. I stream for like four hours. Apple's pretty much damn near every day right now. Um, if I get tired, I'll take a nap. Sometimes that nap's like freaking four hours. <laughs> if I don't set an alarm, I'm out for like four hours. Like I'll edit, I'll sit here and do whatever on the computer for like two hours, take a nap. I try to set like an hour nap alarm. If I don't, it could be up to three to four hours. And then I wake up stream and you know sometimes i stream for four hours sometimes i don't if i don't i try to get off and do some video editing all right so we are headed to the third meal of today uh, there is this zucchini like lasagna concoction that was made that bay made it has turkey in it zucchini vegan ricotta ricotta um, and the main meat in it, well, the only meat in it is um, turkey. So it's like turkey meat inside of it. It's supposed to be in a basket, but I'm lazy sometimes. She ain't eating no protein, but she be trying. I try. She eat like 80 grams a day. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> probably no, but probably. I finished my bug. Finished your bug. So, babe has been on this new adventure of, of she's a reader now. Check it. New? It came back. I used to be a reader. Oh, you used to be a reader? I well, used. bro, she be. Tell, what'd you just say? I Yo, we, I was I went to sleep because it was already what three o'clock in the morning when I went to sleep. Yeah, I started my book at eleven p.m. I was streaming. I streamed for like three, four hours. Got done streaming, came back. She was still reading, whatever. I'm going to bed. This mofo. I finished my book at seven thirty a.m. Seven thirty was up reading till seven thirty in the morning, bro. That is wild. That is wild. It's like TV when I mention something, I can't stop. That's crazy. Is it the one with the grandpa or the other oh, no, kid? Oh, I didn't finish that one. Uh, oh, you, she done, she done, she, 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 she finish a book in like a day. You so soft right now. Am I? You all lotion, baby. Mm -hmm. You put some oil on. Yeah, oil, oil on. Coconut lotion. Coconut Do lotion. Do I smell good? You smell good. You smell like high. Smell like high. Mm, like right there. <laughs> I can feel it in my fingertips. <laughs> oh. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and eat this. I'm playing Overwatch right now. That's what I've been on. I'm going crazy with Widowmaker. Uh, I want, so I was on an Apex grind. So I was on an Apex grind, but I was all the way up to Diamond. Made it to Diamond, bro. Hold on. 
So yeah, I was on the Apex grind, made it to Diamond, because I've been I've been playing Overwatch lately, as you see right here. Uh, I'm practicing my Widowmaker. I be going crazy, and then some games they be like Widow Diff. I'm like fuck, damn, y'all gonna do me like that? Let me just get warmed up, bro. And then like the game about the end. Let me just get warmed up, bro. But uh, yeah, so I'm heavy. I'm an Apex player mainly, but I love I've been loving playing Overwatch lately. But yeah, I made it to Diamond on Apex, and then. I was with a killer squad. We teamed up. We got everybody in Discord. And then, like, we only played one time together. And every time I've been on, they've been off. And it's been five, four or five days later. I'm like, damn, when these dudes going to get back on? So I've been trying to solo queue in Diamond. Bro, tell me why I'm back to plat. Tell me why I'm back to plat, bro. Like, there was a placement, whatever. Like, it holds your placement. And I had, like, three chances to get a dub, I, I'm guessing. Bro, that hope took me down 400 RP. That is the most bullshit shit Apex has ever. That is bullshit, bro. Y'all took me down 400? That's crazy. I almost deleted the game after that happened. Like Monkey, Trace, and things like that. If you flank aggressively, then these characters can actively pursue you and kill you. Now, at the end of different sorts of movement from yourself and from. Boom. I'm over here. Y'all heard me. <laughs> I'm just studying. How to pretty much play certain players better. Always looking to be better. Always looking to do certain different stuff. I think that's one thing that people don't realize. People, people, people are on my channel and are confused about what my goals are. Um, because I'm not like everybody else. Because you know everybody else usually just has like this one specific goal in mind, and you know they go for it. And you know, for me, I think. I've tried different things and they've just didn't work out, you know. I like to do different things. I tried, you know, you know, I tried the football for a long time, of course. I tried the rugby. It just didn't work out, you know, whether it be an injury or I'm just, you know, father time is just coming along and, you know, kind of kicking me out of certain things and I'm having to think about more long-term things. So I just think... Um, yeah, I mean, even with the Olympic lifting years ago, bro, it was, like, it's expensive. Like, I mean, back then, like, you know, for coaching and stuff, like, it was expensive living in New York and everything and, like, you know, finances and shit. Like, it was cool, but I was like, damn, how long can I keep this up? Because I already knew I had planned on moving, so it was hard for me to keep that up. And, you know, that's just life. Like, I do these things because I really want to, but there are things that there's paths that get in my way where I just have to stop, you know. Um, you know, even with certain um, series that I, you know, tried to go for. Like, fuck, how am I going to go for 800, you know, when I'm trying to get back into football mode now? And these things come sporadically. It's just like I'm, I'm not good with planning um, because things always come out of nowhere. Um, and even just like the one I, when I got into rugby, rugby came out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere. A fan of mine, a supporter of mine, I hate using the word fan, a supporter of mine, and he's my homie now, is the reason why I started playing rugby because he told the coach about me, and that was ex-football player and stuff. And that's where rugby came from. Out of, it just came out of nowhere. And that's the thing. Like, the, all these opportunities that I get come out of nowhere. It doesn't mean that I don't want to dedicate and put my, you know, all into something. It's just... You know, I'm a very, when there's opportunity, I go take it no matter what I'm doing. If I think, you know, that opportunity could put me in a better position than I am now, then that's where I'm going. So that's the type of person I am. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm the super risk taker. That's why I left Texas, moved to New York, broke as hell for hell for a, a while. I was broke as hell for at least three years of my time in New York. Not broke as hell. I say two years broke as hell or maybe a year and a half broke as hell. Two years, you know, I can manage third year was pretty good um but yeah so i'm just kind of because i feel like a lot of you guys really undermine like oh here to ryan goes again he's gonna do this and then give it up you know in like two weeks um like no that's that's not me at all um it's just when i see opportunity or something better i i take it you know point blank so just giving you a background but yeah we're done here so it is about seven o'clock. Um, I could nap, or I could start my stream early right now. So by the time I'm done, I could 
you know, I don't know if I want to wake up early or late tomorrow. Um, but I guess I'll stream now. I'm kind of up right now. Let's take a hit of this. Hit of this hook. So I've been working on this video uh, for the last few hours. Tried to take like a small, like 30 minute little nap. Probably not even 30 minutes, probably like 20. But came back to the desk. We are now about to stream. I stream late. Um, it is 12 o'clock. <laughs> I was supposed to be streaming at like 11. I plan on streaming at 11, but I was editing the video and stuff. Um, so that last minute you saw the lasagna, the the uh, zucchini lasagna type, type stuff. That's what I like, ate last. Um, I'm going to end up having just a protein shake for now and then as I end my stream uh, which would be probably like 12 1 2 probably like 3 a.m. in the morning um, I'll have my last meal yes I have I have I eat you know there's no time limit in my my eating I eat whenever I want to um, so it's about 3 a.m. I will make my last meal just so you guys can actually see like I'm not that's babies 12 o'clock 1204 to be exact so yeah um, this is this is my life of much of nothing you know what I'm saying like, this is all I do every day you know um, sometimes I'll go out and do something but that's why I don't like never really vlog because I'm like my life is so simple um, it's just not to me I, I just don't feel like it's interesting you know there are things I, I say as I'm talking to you guys that's interesting could be interesting to somebody or you know something I say that could be like you know my lifestyle could resemble with somebody but it's just like I just never felt like you know my day-to-day -day life was just worth um, filming unless we're going on a trip and doing something like that so yeah say what's up chat We're about to have the last meal of the day just finished up we're off about two a little bit over two and a half hours we got some subs in the chat okay it's back oh oops hold on my camera froze hey what's good what's good what's good we in there but yeah let's go ahead like i said i had leftover steak well i didn't have leftover steak i cooked two steaks i have one in the morning uh, half in the morning and then I actually have a full later in the day and then I have the next morning and then so forth and so on two more steaks you know so I'm having steak pretty much every day to start the day and end the day yeah good life all right so you see the half I ate this morning right here I'm about to eat the big half and make a little salad Baby, uh, huh? Our Gila salad. So we pull this out. It's nice. Let's cut it real quick. Try to keep it low carb as much as possible because I like to snack. When I say I try to keep it low carb, I don't mean I'm eating like low um, carb for the carbs for the day. That means I try to keep the meals low carb because I'd be snacking on shit. <laughs> Just had some popcorn, potato chips. So that being said, I had I had the bread earlier too. That being said, kind of have to like you know balance it out. I'm gonna snack on stuff, then um, and use my carbs for snacks. Then yeah, gotta kind of cut it out the main meals. So that's kind of how I live my life. I'm gonna enjoy this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, like and subscribe. Catch you for more videos like this. Peace.